Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get Start. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by me and Mosin Z has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Goes Missing by me and Mosin Z, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Widener Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. Also support us on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. Make sure you give generously. Also for some great gift ideas, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and a lot more, go to Amazon.com. You can check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for some great gift ideas. And for more great gift ideas, check out the Me in Motion gift store, including great books by Me in Motion Zia, including Missing, Once, and More. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Me in Motion Zia store and make sure you order today. We're here with a terrific lady who is a singer, songwriter, actress, and also a financial expert who's been featuring Glamour, Forbes, Business Insider, and a lot more. And she previously had um, an EP release called Road to Rebellion, which came out um, in 11. She's uh, making a comeback in terms of music um, later this year. And, um, you know, she journeyed from um, San Juan to Montreal, and we'll tell you uh, where she's at right now. She also performs as solo artists in Africa and Switzerland, and also with the Circus Solio and uh, Group Spicy. And she's also in uh, the Jazz Mantra Fest as well, too, one of the most famous jazz fest in the world and very talented live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in beautiful downtown jacksonville florida the very very multi-talented singer songwriter actress and financial expert which makes a lot of sense cassandra descent cassandra good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today thank you so much for having me mike well, it's great to have you on board, Cassandra. So you basically started your journey in San Juan. You moved to Montreal, and you're in Jacksonville. You performed as a solo artist in Africa and Switzerland. You also performed the Circa Solio, Group Spacey, and a lot more. You also appeared in I'm Not There, a biopic of Bob Dylan. You're also a financial expert featuring major magazines, including Glamour, Forbes, Business Insider, and more. You began uh, singing at an early age. And before getting to all that, tell us how I first got started, Cassandra. Uh, so I don't know what more to say. That's like, that's pretty much the <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, did you run out of breath? Um, uh, I, I've got more if you want. I got a King scroll, so I'll challenge you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. Uh, no, it's, that is really like a taste of my life. I've been really, really fortunate and very blessed to just live a really full and, um, just kind of vibrant life and, you know, from, you know, my birth, basically in Trinidad, um, San Juan in Trinidad, Tobago, um, you know, having grown up in the culture of like Calypso music and Soka music um, and also Hindi music because my my late mom um, was Hindu. So I grew up with a lot of different musical interests. She also listened to country music and oh, gospel. Wow. So 
Yeah, so from a really early age, I um, had, you know, what we say in French, a métissé background, a, a, a culty, multicultural mac background in terms of musical, um, you know, indoctrination, if you will. So I, you know, around the age of five, six, my mom started noticing that when I was listening to Hindi music, um, I'd, I'd be able to kind of harmonize with it. And, and Hindi music is actually quite difficult to sing. Really? And yeah, just because of the way um, a lot of times, especially the female singers, when they are doing their runs on, let's say, one note, you know, they're hitting multiple notes in their runs. And um, it's at a very high frequency, high pitch. And so she's like, what is a six-year-old able to do? How is she able to do this? And my mother really doesn't doesn't didn't have any knowledge of music per se so when we immigrated to montreal um my music teacher in elementary school quickly told my mother you need to enroll your child in music lessons you know because she she seems like she's gifted you know so my mom worked her tail off to pay for lessons at conservatory um and that's like really when I started to just take off music wise as a kid and I soaked it all up. I was in jazz bands. I, I was a uh, first chair clarinetist. So I also performed as, as in the wind section of, of string orchestras. And then I got into gospel music as a teenager. Uh, I was in bell choir, like anything music related. I was in it. Like that was my other than school. That was my second job was being a musician. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you've got one heck of a background right there. That's just so amazing. Just blows away, um, you know, myself and many others. And um, what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you? This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Uh, wow. I think it was seeing Whitney Houston in concert in Montreal. Wow. So, yeah. So I was able to actually see Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston back in the day. I remember my aunt, you know, bought us tickets. And so we went to the old forum in Montreal and mm -hmm. I was just watching her perform and I was just mesmerized. Like she was beautiful. She was a black woman. So I felt like, okay, I'm seeing myself on the stage and she just is an amazing talent. Like she was just really gifted. And so I just said, I just, I just really want to see, you know, I didn't necessarily see at that point, see myself as a singer. I was always one in the background. I would always be doing the harmonies. That was my safe, my safe zone. You know, I felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but, but later on, you know, as I went through school and then I started performing with choirs and then smaller groups, you know, people were kind of like, you know, you know, you, Sandra, you should, you should sing lead. And at first I was really hesitant because I didn't want to be in the forefront. I was always kind of shy of the limelight, so to speak. Um, and uh, again, my first passion was harmonies. I love putting harmonies together. I do all the vocal arrangements on my album. I do vocal arrangements on other people's albums as well. And, um, but finally, you know, I, I also have a passion for writing and lyrics. And so I decided, well, okay, maybe let me try. Let me, let me see if I can kind of break out of that shyness. And it took a minute, but I became really comfortable because the lyrics were my own and they were, a lot of my lyrics are, are telling of my life experiences or how I perceive the world. And um, I found my voice, literally, so to speak, you know. And um, from there, I started really um, kind of like, you know, shining as a vocalist in, in Montreal and then being asked to tour with some some other local groups who were getting bigger. And then even um, world world music artists that were coming to town, um, I was being requested as their as the vocalist to wow. fill in. So. Yeah, it, it, it's been nothing short but amazing to me. Like, <laughs> sometimes I look back in life and I'm like, wow, like, I did this? Okay. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you about your lyrics as well, too. You mainly based on your life. And what else do you base your lyrics on besides um, your life story? So I really look at what's going on in the world. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm quite empathetic by nature. I absorb a lot of energy in the world and whether it's good, bad or indifferent, um, I see what's going on and I, I process that, you know, like my, my new single that I'm going to be releasing in June, it's called Be Still. And really, you know, it was written um, at a time where, you know, the world just, it just feels uncertain. And, and for some, it feels like there's no hope. And I wanted to come with a message of that there is still hope and that there is still a lot of good in this world. Um, but sometimes you really have to sometimes stand still and just, you know, let things be and let it pass before you can move on to, to better things. So 
Yeah, my inspiration is really from people around me. I observe a lot. Sometimes I'm in public and I'm just kind of watching people and seeing how things play out. And that gives me food for thought or material to, to create lyrics from. Mm -hmm. and, and it sounds interesting as well, too. And who are some of your other favorite artists, musicians and singers growing up? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that question. Oh, okay, um, I'm sorry. Um, who are some of your other favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? Oh, oh, absolutely. So India Ari is probably one of my top three. Um, she is just so full of soul. She's very spirit-oriented. She's an amazing lyricist as well. Um, Alicia Keys is another go-to of mine. Um, just uh, even in like the gospel arena, there's like a lot of like older artists that like the Clark sisters in terms of their harmonies. Um, I've attended, I think, like three Bon Jovi shows. So like oh, my wow. my yeah, my musical interests are like literally all over the map. Like I I one of my favorite favorite all time songs is "Dust in the Wind" by Kansas. Oh you know, my I, favorite! Oh my gosh! I mean, I got a yeah. great I got great story on that one. I don't know if you uh, remember this as well, too, or someone told you, you know, that uh, beginning where um, Carrie Livgren, um, you know, plays in the beginning. That was actually uh, a, a warm up before a concert or, um, you know, getting a recording studio and someone tried to convince him. He's like, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. And finally gave yeah. in and Dustin Wynn became number one. So thank him for that. Yeah, that is one of the most beautiful pieces of art, like musical art I've ever heard. And I often actually will 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 play it during shows. So yeah, my as I said, I once it's good music and it connects with me, I'm listening to it. I don't really I don't really judge what type of music it is, whether it's hip hop, whether it's country, whether it's like classical music. I listen to it all, truly. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned something too about um, you know listening to some country music and maybe uh, some of the influences that you um, grew up listening to. So my mom used to listen to like Charlie Pride um, and he, he passed away. Um, if not, I think it was this year, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. um, earlier this year. Um, so that was definitely big on her, her thing. Jim Reeves, like, I mean, old school. <laughs> right. um, yeah. So I grew up on that kind of like the old, like, you know, 45s and stuff. I grew up listening to that kind of um, country music. And then, all, you know, one of my a more modern singers, I would say, is Carrie Underwood. She's got an amazing pipe <laughs> set of pipes. <laughs> um, yeah, she and she just delivers it. You know, um, her music is great. Um, production teams are awesome. So, yeah, that that become some of the couple names I can really come to mind that that stay with me. You know, as musicians. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, speaking of music, you also appeared in um, in a biac of Bob Dylan. You also performed as a solo artist in Africa and Switzerland. We'll talk more about that along with your. Um, Road to Rebellion, what's coming up? But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by me and Molson Z has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo 7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. Also on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. Make sure you give generously. Also check out the uh, the great gift ideas on Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and more. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by me and Molson Zia, Go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia and make sure you order today. We're here with um, 
actress, singer, songwriter, and financial expert, very multi-talented, Cassandra Descent here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, and before we talk about your uh, performing in Africa and Switzerland and also um, appearing in Cirque du Soleil as well, too, and um, you also hit upon uh, going from San Juan to um, Montreal. And um, tell us about your journey going from Montreal to where you're currently at right now in Jacksonville. So I moved for love, <laughs> long story short. So mm -hmm. I met, yeah, I met my now husband. He is a, a live sound engineer as well. He's been in the business for, I would say, almost 30 years. Wow. And um, so we met as I was performing at a festival in Montreal. And long story short, you know, fell in love, got married, and somebody had to choose which country to immigrate to. So <laughs> <laughs> He won the bet and I immigrated to uh, the United States. So for a time, I, we lived in New York City in Brooklyn and then um, spent a, a couple of years out in Michigan in Lansing. And uh, about a couple of years ago, we moved here to Jacksonville, Florida. So, um, so you know, lived a little bit um, more on the East Coast of the state. And um, during that whole time, I decided to take a sabbatical. Um, I had actually released my album, my first album, Road to Rebellion, in uh, 2011, performed a little bit. And then, you know, I made choices. I took care of my family, a caregiver for, for my mom, and um, decided, you know what, this year, actually starting last year, I started to record new music. And I said, OK, you know what, I think I am ready to come back fully, you know. So that that's been the journey in the States. Um, but in the meantime, still, you know, um, I would travel a lot to Montreal. So uh, every time I'd head back to Montreal, I'd work with my team there. And a lot of times I get pulled into the studio, you know, to drop some vocals for other people's stuff, but was more focused on, you know, just being um, a wife, a stepmother and all that stuff. But now um focusing on me and focusing on, on the music that I want to share with people who are hoping to listen to it. And, and hopefully I'll be able to connect with them in that way. So I'm really excited about this new chapter in the music career. And of course, speaking of music as well, too, you put out Road to Abelian in 2011. You have songs like Alone, Worth the Waiting, Want to Be With You, and Change. And uh, tell us more about those songs and um, especially a little bit more about uh, Road to Rebellion. Sure. So Road to Rebellion are really... Um, I would describe it as a um, personal um, vindication, if you will. So, you know, a lot of times, you, you know, artists will maybe get pigeonholed into a couple of styles of singing, you know, because, OK, I was known as a gospel singer or an R&B singer. And I really wanted to break uh, break certain barriers for me personally. So I decided to record a, an urban pop album, actually, which surprised a lot of people. And um, Road to Rebellion is, is, the, is the title track of that album. And it just really speaks for me, uh, speaks about me deciding to just break, break down barriers, whether self-perceived or, you know, from the outside in. And other songs like Change is really, it's, the song Change is powerful. It's just about the state of the world, you know, and that it really is time to change. And that, you know, really one person can be... Um, a driver of change, you know, and, and, and others will embark upon change once they see leaders, you know. So um, Alone is a song that actually um, I had entered into a, a Nashville songwriting competition and I came up as a finalist uh, two years ago for that song. And um, it's about broken relationships. It's about, you know, love lost and, you know, some some people's love relationships don't end well. So that was that was the basis of Alone. And then there's another song called Free Me, which really talks about um, hardships that I went through personally in life. And, um, you know, the song Free Me really, really kind of talks about how I, I needed to let go of certain things in order to really, like, embrace the present and, and live life to the fullest. So it's a wide spanning album in terms of uh, emotions in terms of the topics that I, that I touch on as a lyricist. So I'm proud of the, that first body of work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and of course, you know, not only a put out road to rebellion before we talk about your, um, upcoming release in 2020, you also appeared in, um, in a biopic of Bob Dylan. I'm not there. And, uh, tell us more about that one. So, wow, that was a while ago, but it was such a good experience because I remember I was in the trailer getting makeup done. And who walks in but Christian Bale, right? Huh. <laughs> he walks into, like, my trailer, <laughs> and 
So it was a big white trailer. And then I thought it was my trailer realizing, no, it's not my trailer. It's Christian's trailer. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the wrong trailer. And he's like, no, 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 stay there, stay there. So he's getting makeup done beside me. And we have like a good 30 minute conversation. And it was just so chill. Um, I can't remember what we talked about because this is quite a few years ago, but I just remember just leaving that conversation saying, wow, like I always liked Christian Bale. I thought he was gorgeous, but as a human, very smart, um, very aware of what was go- what's going on with society. And we really had a, a deep conversation. So mm. that, yeah, that, that was a great experience. Actually, probably one of my more enjoyable film set experiences, meeting Christian Bale. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, let's talk about the uh, movie I'm Not There as well, too, the biopic Bob Dylan. You talked about um, meeting Christian Bale and a little bit more about the role in your film. So I actually played a singer in one of the scenes. I actually played uh, like we were one of his three backup singers in one of the scenes of the movie. So that was the role I played. So I actually sang in that movie. Wow, that is very interesting. He also performs a solo artist in Africa and Switzerland, especially with Circus Soleil and um, the Montreux Jazz Fest. And maybe just a bit about those before we um, talk about your latest. Sure. So Cirque du Soleil is interesting. So I actually... Sir du Soleil, for those who don't know, is was started by uh, a Montreal uh, a Montreal CEO. So uh, Sir du Soleil, uh, I actually came. I recorded under the first three albums of Sir du Soleil. I think it was Salt and Banco, Mystère, and Alegria. Wow! And I, re- yeah, I recorded uh, as a as a as a vocalist, and I actually performed at the 1995. Um, it was a Montreal Jazz Fest. They, they were the closing they were the closing artists for the festival that year. So it was massive. Like that, if, I don't know if you ever were to look online and you see pictures of that day, but it was over like 200,000 people lining up the street. It was so packed. All you could see was just a sea of people. And um, we were about a hundred performers on stage between the acrobatics, between us vocalists, the musicians. It was probably, it was a, a defining moment, like as a musician, in my career, like being able as an 18 year old, cause I was 18. So I'm dating myself, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like it's, it's rare as, as a young person to be on that kind of stage with that caliber of performers, you know? Um, so that was, uh, that was a magical moment I must say. And then, you know, being able to travel to Switzerland, to countries like Mali, Burkina Faso in Africa, to be able to share my talent and my voice. It's, mm. it's, I take nothing for granted at all, Mike. Wow, that is amazing. And uh, what was what was your uh, favorite country that you uh, ever toured in? What was your favorite? Uh, I, Switzerland. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to go back. Yeah, seriously. I fell in love with Europe. Like I've been I've been to quite a few cities and countries in in, in Europe, but Switzerland, uh, Geneva, Montreux, you know, the Alps. Like I I I say I have to go back. It's it's been a long time, but I fell in love with Europe. That that tour was when I was in Switzerland when we were at Montreux Jazz Festival. Wow, that is something. And of course, so uh, we'll talk about your um your other lot that you returned to. Um, you have an album coming out, and you're featuring Be Still. We'll talk more about that in a minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit our line at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson ZF Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the multi talented Cassandra DeSant after this timeout. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called 
www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with actress, singer, songwriter, multi-talented, and financial expert Cassandra Jassant here on the Mike Widener Show. And, um, you know, speaking of experts and everything, before we talk about your uh, financial background, you let's let's talk more about your uh, album you got coming out in 2020. You've been putting a lot of work into it, taking a sabbatical, and uh, you got a single out called Be Still. And uh, tell us a little bit more about the project and a little bit more about the single that will be coming out. Sure. So the album's in progress. So I, I'm really focused right now on the single that's called Be Still. And, it, you know, a lot of us have just kind of been through the ringer in the past year plus change with um, the pandemic and realizing that, you know, a lot of people are hurting for different reasons. Right. And I wanted just to come with a song that let people know that I see them, I hear them, I acknowledge them. And there's still promise, like as long as they're still living, like there really is hope. I know it sounds very, you know, kitschy or however you want to say it, but a lot of people need to be reminded of and encouraged that, you know, there are brighter days ahead. There are bright days today, despite, you know, all the negative, negative negativity that we're, we're experiencing and all the trials that we're kind of facing as a, as a nation, as a, as a society, as a whole, you know, there's still so much good to be had. Like, there's still so much good in people. And I wanted to kind of give that message across through this song called Be Still. So I'm really, really looking forward to launching that. And um, I'll be releasing that in June this year. Oh, we're so looking forward to it. And where can we find all your music at? So you can find my music pretty much everywhere. So on Amazon, on Apple Music, um, on CD Baby, just basically Google my name and you will find somewhere to buy it. Well, certainly will. And not only you're an actress, singer, songwriter, and also, um, you know, very talented here on the Mike Widener Show, Cassandra. You're also a financial expert. You're featuring Glamour, Forbes, Business Insider, and more. And um, tell, tell us how I became a financial expert. I'd love to hear about it. Sure. So, I became a financial expert through personal perseverance of paying off my $55,000 of debt back in 2009. So long wow. story short, yeah, I got into debt, you know, over a period of like a decade, uh, just, you know, not watching my spending, not being responsible with money. And then I made a decision that I needed to change. And I decided to create a payoff plan in five years, but I got it done in three and a half. And by kind of sharing my experiences with people, I had started blogging on like a personal finance blog and it got the attention of a few people. And then long story short, that was back like, you know, 2013. And ever since then, I have been often asked to, you know, provide commentary for big publications. I've spoken at conferences and presented at seminars. Um, I am a like certified financial education instructor. So I teach people what I have learned and also what I know as a professional expert in terms of money management. And, you know, the number one thing is that, you know, personal finance is personal and, you know, no two solutions are going to apply for each person. Long story short, it's a very like holistic look at money that I, I try to educate people on. And um, it's, 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 you're not competing against anybody but yourself. Like don't look to the Joneses to try to like, live your life like you've got to you know determine what works for you and put things into place that will help guide you to where you want to go in terms of living living out your values through your spending and are you currently um are, are you currently um taking uh reservations for um you know people that want to come to you for uh financial planning and uh how can people reach you for financial advice 
So for financial advice, you can definitely um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Cassandra Dacent, my website as well. However, I currently don't take clients just because I'm so focused on music. I think, you, you know, uh, it's for me, it, it's, I've got to do one thing and I've got to do it, you know, justice 100 percent. But you can definitely find a lot of advice that I've given across the years on my site and on my my channels as well. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's amazing. And uh, what's one current uh, financial piece of advice would you give to anybody right now at this point? Wow. Totally depends on their situation. However, um, even if you think you don't have money to save or invest, even if it's $5 a paycheck, do it. It's the habit that you want to create. It's not the amount at the beginning. Don't think that it's not enough to really start snowballing you into really the life that you're hoping to lead or live, start small and don't don't discount that five dollars or two dollars. It's the consistency of your behavior that's going to dictate the results in the end. Mm -hmm. So so in other words, if you got five dollars right now, save it. Don't blow it on a on a Starbucks or a caribou coffee. That's our advice at this point. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Go slow. <laughs> exactly. You're right. And if you want coffee, just make it yourself. We're here with actress, singer, songwriter, financial expert Cassandra DeSund here on the Mike Widener Show. Cassandra, just a few more minutes here, and we'd love to have you back as well. You've been amazing. What can, what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Cassandra? So, you know, as as we're trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel with, you know, the pandemic, I'm really hoping to, you know, be back in performing live that I miss live performances so much. And as we, you know, get closer to getting the new album together and releasing the album and really I, I'd love I my goal is to tour again. Like, I think a lot of people are just really anxious to see live shows. I know I am and I know a lot of people are. So that is like the short term, midterm plan for my my music career is just to really be get back out there and and share music with people because you know that's that's the one language that everyone seems to understand is music mm -hmm. and we're certainly looking forward to it and that's very true cassandra and who do you consider biggest influence in a career biggest influence in my career wow um my mom i'll be honest you know she wasn't a musician she didn't know anything about music but one thing she taught me, that word perseverance, if you really truly believe in something, if you believe in yourself, like just 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 go for it. Have a plan. Don't obviously, you know, attack it without a strategy. But, you know, she's like with your faith and with your works, it can come to pass. And I, I proved it. So mm -hmm. and he did a great job of it as well. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Anybody at this point? Um give yourself grace, like be kind to yourself. And life is short. Um, enjoy your life. Like don't, you know, like I said, it's important to, to you know, to save and, and be, you know, to be wise with your money, but also treat yourself too. like, you've got to kind of find that balance, but life is short and really try to enjoy it and, and stay safe and, and hug your loved ones. Like it's real basic for me, but that's, that's how my life is. So Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. Once again, we're with actress, singer, songwriter, and multi-talented along being a financial expert, Cassandra DeSant here on the Mike Widener Show. Cassandra, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people uh, purchase or check out your music? Sure. So everyone can find me at my website, which is www.cassandradason.com. From there, you can uh, go to my various social media links and you can also purchase my music through my website. So that is the one stop shop. From there, you can just find me anywhere. And thank you so much, Mike, for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I look forward to coming back at some point. And we certainly will. Once again, Cassandra, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely terrific and looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely fantastic. And yeah, um, if, if you do plan to come out here, make sure you save the $5. I'm going to do the same. Will do.